That has got to be the easiest I've ever put a quilt on, a quilt cover, inside my ring. There you go, today's turned out a little bit different to what I expected. This is minging. I'll show you in a minute where it looks like. really needed that. I feel like a new winner. Now, since I've owned this Sprinter, I've been plagued with problems with the engine going into limp mode. Finally, I think I may have found the problem. And here it is, it's the connecting pipe that connects both turbos. Mary's got two turbos, can you believe? Not just one, but two. And they boost at 32 PSI, that's incredible. Most cars with turbos boost around about 18 PSI. Today's mission is to buy some new O-rings. These O-rings, although they look really good because I've actually cleaned them and I've soaked them overnight because I need to put Mary back together, hopefully get myself to Cheltenham so I can order some new O-rings from Mercedes. And whilst I'm in Cheltenham up that way, I'm going to see if I can find a service station and take a shower because I've not had a proper shower now for well over a week. And in the past, people have actually asked me to make a video about how you get to use truck stop showers. So today, that's my mission. And you are welcome to come along with me and I hope you enjoy. Right, let's put Mary back together and hopefully, fingers crossed, she gets me to Cheltenham. <laughs> and I get some of these big chunky O-rings. They are beasty as well. Right, let's do it. Well, that's a complete washout. Despite online saying they're open, they're actually shut. I don't understand. Clearly says there that the parts department is open between 7.30 and one o'clock. For some reason, they're closed. So I'm glad, I'm really glad that I didn't destroy those O-rings when I took it apart because otherwise I'll be well and truly buggered now. Now I did actually go to Mercedes in Cheltenham at first and they said they couldn't find that part on their system so they actually sent me here. So why this is shut is beyond me. Why would one branch of Mercedes send me to another branch of Mercedes when it's closed? Shame on Mercedes, that's all I can say. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to go on the internet and see if I can find the parts online somehow. Unless I give this mob a call Monday morning, of course. Which is probably what I will do. <laughs> right. Well, the good news is, though, Mary seems to be driving really well. So there's no matter of urgency, but I still would like to change those old O-rings for new ones. Get some nice fresh ones in there. That way, I know it's definitely not going to leak again. Right, let's go see if I can find somewhere to have a shower. Well, I've ended up at Gloucester Services on the M5, and because it's a weekend, it is absolutely rammed. Usually, I wouldn't bother trying to get a shower at the weekend because of this um, situation. It does get really busy. Take a look at this. Look at that behind me. It's absolutely jam-packed. But that's not putting me off. I've got two hours free parking, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and see if I can grab myself a shower. I've got my towel and all my toiletries in my bag, including some hand sanitizer. So let's have a look. I've never been here before. Let's go scope it out. Well, I've got to say, I'm quite impressed. Didn't have to hand my keys in. Sometimes at a service station, you will have to hand your keys in to get a key to the shower. Look at this. This is really nice. It's got one of the better ones I've ever been to. It's even got a mirror. <laughs> so I'm really pleased. It means I'll have a little shave as well. Right. I'm not going to feel myself having any showers. Hopefully it's not going to Now, out of respect for our truck drivers, don't spend too long in here. Just get in, have a shower and get out again. Because there may be a busy truck driver outside waiting to have a shower. And he could be on his 45 minute break. So don't spend all day in here, purely out of respect for our hard working truck drivers. Now, I'm not going to just rock out of here after using the shower. I'm actually going to go into the services now and spend some money as a way of saying thank you. I'll probably get a nice tasty beverage and maybe a snack. I wonder if they've got a Burger King. <laughs> anyway, time for me to go and get something to eat. Well, I've got a nice steak and ale pie, a nice latte, and I've had a shower, all for £7.50. I don't think that's too bad. But now I'm thinking, now I'm nice and clean, maybe I should go and get me bedding done as well. So I think I need to find a laundrette as soon as I've had my dinner. 
onesie that I found in my lockup. It's been in there for a couple of years. I thought I'd lost it. It smells a bit musty. And it was in a bag with my lovely soft blankie as well. It smells a bit musty too, so that's going in the washing machine. It's all right getting these out. Boy, is it hard work getting them back in. Luckily, I found this video on YouTube which shows you how to get your quilt back into your quilt cover relatively easy. I'm going to try and give that a go later today. <laughs> I don't know how easy it would be to do it in such a small confined space, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Hey, it's turning out to be a bit of a spring clean day and I've just noticed something outside. Look, a massive vacuum cleaner and it got me thinking, I wonder if I can use it to clean out my cubic mini wood stove. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it to work. It says insert coin, but it doesn't say which particular coin. So I'm gonna to have to go in the garage and ask. No point in doing half of it, it's a hard to do it all. <laughs> Maybe not such a good idea, it's a bit too large. Oh, good job, though. Brilliant. We really are having a spring clean today. Not a moment too soon, I don't think, because Mary is absolutely minging. Minging Mary, but not for much longer. We'll soon have her nice and clean in a ship shape. <laughs> Look at the state of that. I should be ashamed of myself. Well, there you go. Today's turned out a little bit different to what I expected. I've popped out to get some parts from my van and I've ended up giving it a good spring clean. I guess that's van life for you. Now here's a little tip for you, if you've got an air machine that takes money or tokens, take your air valve covers off first before you put the token in the machine, that way you get more time to put air in your tyres. They was low as well. Like this little machine can go up to 55 psi. It should be that way to let me know. There you go. Don't 
get to put those dust caps back on. Here's a bonus. Yeah, baby. I filmed my water tank up as well while I'm here. Today's a good day, apart from this down here. It fucking stinks bad. It really does smell as bad as it looks. I'm going to have to move Mary over there a little bit. I'm not that desperate for water. That's going to take about 45 minutes to dry, so whilst that's drying, I'm going to jump back in the van, clean myself up, and then get my laptop out and see if I can find those pesky O-rings online. <laughs> Which is what I set out to do in the first place today. And I really think I should have had the shower after I did all this, so I might have to go and have another shower. I'm absolutely filthy now. Now, for those of you that are wondering where you can find the location to a local outside laundrette, in every one of my videos, I always put a link in the description to their websites. Click on that link and you will get directions to your local outside laundrette. Now that has got to be worth a like and a thumbs up, surely. Well, I've searched and searched, I've scratched my head, I've been all around the World Wide Web and I can't find those O-rings anywhere. So it looks like I've got no choice but to head back to Mercedes tomorrow morning. Right, well, my washing is almost dry, so I'm going to put all this stuff away now. I think about putting my bed all back together. Getting a quilt back inside a quilt cover inside a van is an absolute nightmare. But just recently I came across a video showing how to put a quilt inside a quilt cover using the burrito method. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try and do in this tiny little space. Now apparently you start off by putting your quilt cover inside out and laying it on the bed. have to have that hanging over the edge of it. So now we've got our quilt cover laid out on the bed, we then put our quilt on top of the quilt cover. I hope this works. So now all we've got to do is mould it up like a burrito. Now this would be a lot easier if you were doing it in the house, admittedly. But it wouldn't be as much fun. Try and, try and keep it all nice. Bear with me. This is going to be amazing if it works, trust me. I don't this. <laughs> so now we've got our quilt rolled up like a burrito, we reach underneath to the quilt cover, try and get it nice and straight so it works, and then reach underneath, grab the quilt cover, part it, and then tuck the ends in. This. So you're basically turning the quilt cover the right way round then, both sides. So top and the bottom, and then wrap it around the burrito. Like so now we do our buttons up. Like 
this. Bloody words. <laughs> Brilliant, look at that. <sighs> it's a little bit shabby, but so now what I've got to do is put it around the right way. That's the foot of the quilt, so it does right. I usually sleep with my head this end. Nobody wants the buttons, do they, down the side? That has got to be the easiest I've ever put a quilt on, a quilt cover, inside my van. Love it. Absolutely love it. There we go. The foam cushion. One bed, easily made. Well there you go, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up or a like. And if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, ta for now. Well this one isn't as nice as the other one. <laughs> but, what can you do? Right? It's got a mirror. There's no sink unfortunately. There's a little kind of stall. Right, anyway, that's enough for me. I'm going to have a shower because I really do mean again. So, uh, two showers in my day. I'll be back. Bang life. Love it.